Hey guys, welcome to the MLMC Diablo Drop tutorial. My name is Neoblade298 of the staff marketing team, and today I'm going to show you how to properly use Diablo Drops, which a lot of people have been getting questions about, and I'm here to explain it all. To find the Diablo Drop, simply go mob hunting. All hostile mobs drop Diablo Drops, and some even equip them to show you what they're dropping beforehand. But others, such as the Creeper and Skeleton, don't do this, but they still drop it, unlike popular belief. Socket enhancers are things that you can use to upgrade certain Diablo drops that you can get. As you can see, I've got a Dragon's Ender here with two sockets. Note the color of the socket is red, and the color of the socket enhancement word is also red. Uh, that's very important, there can be such thing as blue sockets, and um, only blue socket enhancers work on blue sockets and such. Place the item you want to upgrade on the top of the furnace and the socket enhancer on the bottom and you will be able to upgrade your Dragon's Ender or whatever item you have. As you can see this has turned from a plus 9 attack um, Dragon's Ender to a plus 13 attack so it is a positive upgrade. But note that there can also be negative upgrades such as um, say speed plus 4 which actually gives the enemy speed so it's not all positive. To elaborate on what I said earlier, I'm going to be using Nathan Lovett. This is his weapon, Noxian Battle Axe with plus 4 invisibility. Now, if an effect is positive, it will deal the effect on the enemy, not yourself. So as you can see here, when I hit Nathan, he becomes invisible, but I do not. Now, note that this is also a non-PvP area, so you can definitely use this in non-PvP to get other people invisible, such as maybe your teammates or something. On the other hand, I got here is prepared to demonstrate his weapon, which is minus 7 speed and plus 1 invisibility. Now, when I hit I got, you'll see that I am given the speed rather than him. Take note the next time I hit I got, he'll become invisible. This is due to the plus 1 invisibility on the Noxian Battle Axe, as you can see right here. Another aspect of Diablo Drops is identity tomes and unidentified objects. Use identity tomes to find out what enchantments are on unidentified objects. Here I've got two identity tomes and two unidentified objects. Note that the unidentified objects don't have enchantments on them, so there's nothing special about them. Now when I right click with an identity tome in my hand, it identifies the nearest unidentified object. So note that the chest plate was placed before the hoe and was therefore identified before it too. You can now see that the unidentified items now have actual abilities, such as the fire protection on my chest plate, which was not previously there. Finally, you can craft identity tones. To craft, you'll need three books and an eye vendor. Place them in this format here. And there's your identity tone. That's about all you'll need to know on Diablo Drops to make your experience on an OMC a good one. I'm Neoblade298 of the marketing staff team, thanks for watching and good day.